Hey guys, how we doing? Uh, doing a little road test on the uh, M4 convertible with Colton here. Hey guys, uh, my life is on the line, and uh, he promised he promised me he was gonna get me back in one piece. It's in my hands. <laughs> it's in your hands. This thing packs a lot of torque, man. I mean, what's your what's your favorite thing about this car? So I I think my favorite thing about the car is the wheels, the new wheels, the black wheels. Yeah, yeah, that was um, pretty cool. I like the black on the secure orange. Interior. I love this interior. Mm -hmm. totally it right. is so nice. It, it's 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 plush. It's what? it's it's not overwhelming. No, you know, it's not overwhelming. I think the the black with the red, it 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 it, it goes it goes really well. You know? One thing that BMW does that's always tasteful is if you have a red or an orange interior, not everything in the car is that color. So when I'm looking forward, I see majority black. I'm not looking at secure orange the entire time, so it's not a color that I get sick of. Um, and then what's nice is from the outside, you've got a black exterior, and the red interior complements all of the red accents, whether it's the reflectors or the tail lights. Um, everything is 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 complicated. It's compl it, or it's compliments. Com complimented. Complimented. On this car. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's like a it's like a lady wearing a, a classy red dress. Exactly. With black heels. Yep. That's it's very classy. It's a nice touch. It's not overwhelming. Uh, the yeah. performance is is just ridiculous. amazing, man. It's convertible. It's, you can't ask for anything better. The and car, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. The car sounds really really nice. This car has the cold weather package, so you have a heated steering wheel, mm -hmm. and then you have these things called neck warmers, which is this guy right here. Oh, that's pretty cool. And what it does that's is nice. it's kind of like a, a seat heater, but for your neck, you've got a three-stage setting, and it will blow warm air on the back of your neck, so. That is amazing. Um, at night, that's it's cool down, things that's like beautiful. that. That's like a that's like a spa treatment you're yeah. getting while you're driving. Exactly. <laughs> that's amazing. That's great. The compact does so much for this car. They they tune it. The suspension's tuned a little bit differently. Um, you get a, more of a growl out of the engine than you do with the normal M4. Yeah, I noticed that it, the, the the exhaust system sounds a little bit. It's a little bit more of a purr mm -hmm. with this one yep. uh, compared to the uh, the 17 model uh, non comp uh, package. So it, it, it definitely sounds really nice. Oh. And you get the burble. <laughs> oh, the burble is my favorite. Gotta love the burble. And you get the burble. Oh, the burble is great. Love that steering wheel. I mean, you, this this Alcantara steering wheel is just, it is absolutely amazing. I love it. It's great. You've got carbon fiber. You've got Alcantara. And it's comfortable. It's comfortable. And then at the top, you've got all of your uh, information. So right now I have my shift indicator on. So the steering wheel actually goes from uh, green, orange to red when I need to shift and I can set the RPM where I want that to happen. So right now I have it set at 5,000 RPM um, and I have it matched up with the car pretty well so that when I when I get on it, I'll know if when I'm to shift. Exactly. Cool, yep. very, very cool feature, very cool feature. And what's nice is this car has the uh, carbon fiber trim so the steering wheel matches the interior trim of the car as well. Yeah, I mean everything, the details from this car is just done so, it's so so clean. Mm -hmm. uh, it's so well put together. It's it's a very well balanced, um, you know, convertible. So it's it's a very cool, very cool car. It's like best of both worlds, especially with the with the convertible top down and with the top up. Wow, sounds good. <laughs> sounds amazing. I could probably live in this car. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hand me a blanket, I'll, I'll put the seats down, I'll, I'll sleep in here. I wouldn't mind it. <laughs> it's so comfortable. It's so comfortable. commute if you want to go to you know work if you want or yep. on the weekends if you want to take it to a track and it's 
You could do that too. So what's nice is on the steering wheel over here, I have two buttons. I have an M1 and an M2 button. So normal driving conditions, I can have everything set into comfort. I can have uh, my drivetrain, my chassis, and my steering, mm -hmm. my shift points all set into comfort. Mm -hmm. And then I can have an M1 and an M2 button. And what those allow me to do is customize what I want each button to do. So I can have my M1 to change all of my settings, um, everywhere from traction control to how hard that the car is gonna uh, shift to um, how stiff the steering is. I can have all that set to a um, pretty aggressive driving mode, your sport mode, and then I can have M2 set for track mode. So you so, can really save the, every configuration for whatever type yep. of you know, uh, a need you may want the car to be mm -hmm. doing or anything like that. Exactly. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. So it's nice is you can have all you can have the best of all of all three worlds. You can have your normal comfort driving mode from mm -hmm. to and from work. Um, when the, the little Miata pulls up next mm -hmm. to you, you have your sport, and then mm -hmm. if you want to take it on the weekends to the track, you have your actual track modes. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Uh, what about this top? Let's uh, are we able to see what this top looks like? So you can do it going up to, I believe, 21 miles an hour. Which is an increase with, from the previous generation. Yep, I believe so. Good, that's good. And it's uh, pretty quick. Cool. There you got it, some shade. Some shade some and some shade. air conditioning. Some shade and AC. Well, good thing is, uh, for right now, you may not need those neck warmers, but let me tell you something. When it gets cool out, mm -hmm. they, they will come in handy. They will come in handy. Uh, what I like to do sometimes, I like to put the AC on and then the neck warmers at the same time. So you get a little bit of the hot and the cold mm -hmm. going at the same time. It, it's kind of like you're getting a whole back treatment. Well, it's like <laughs> it's, if you're in a 5 or a 7 series yeah. and you have ventilated seats mm -hmm. and heated seats, you can turn them on both at the same time. That's beautiful. It's like you're getting a spa treatment yep. done right in your exactly. car. Exactly. That's beautiful. Does quiet it up in the cabin, but you don't you don't lose all the noise. Yeah, surprisingly, you you, you still get uh, it's not so quiet, but the, yet it's it's also not loud. It's not a it's not obnoxious. Yep. Exactly. Um, so I kind of like having that where you know I don't want to you know if I'm on the phone I don't want it to be so loud in the outside. So this this kind of gives you if you put the top down you really don't lose um, so much connection with the car yep. you know so that's that's really a, a good thing too well I think what's hard for manufacturers to do nowadays is to make everybody happy yeah and absolutely. so you want your hardcore enthusiasts to be happy but you also want people to be able to drive this on a daily basis and I think they found a, a nice balance a good balance yeah being absolutely. able to make this a daily driver as well as being able to take it to the track cool cool yeah absolutely well I appreciate uh the drive with you and getting, course, me, uh, getting me back in one piece man yeah if you guys have questions, don't hesitate to stop by United BMW. We're on 1501 Alpharetta Highway in Alpharetta. Um, come see Gianni. And if he's not there, ask Carlton. Carlton. The genies. Thanks, the genies. guys. Thanks, guys.